Hello right bags, it's Jade, a quick Valheim guide today on taming. You can tame boars, you can also tame wolves, and there may be even some more creatures, but I haven't got to that stage yet. But here's how I tamed some boars on my live stream the other day. Hopefully you learned something, I'll give you some tips, and yeah, if you do find this video useful, please like it, go and check out the rest of my survival games content. Let's go. So you have to build yourself a pen. It's pretty simple. There's a few key points to this though. When you spawn, the very first area you decide to actually have as your home, do make sure you try and not kill the boars around there. I find that once I'd murdered a good few, it was hard for them to spawn close by to my base. In fact, it took a good few days. What you wanna do is try and get this set up as quickly as possible. As soon as you've got a base going, get a fence ready up, a pen set up, and try and capture two boars at least. This will save you so much time in the long run rather than going around the whole of the map looking for boars. As early game, you're gonna need loads and loads of the leather scraps and it can be just a bit of a pain in the butt. Once you've got the rough outline of a pen, you can go ahead and try and lure a boar in. Basically, just get it to follow you and aggro and run into the pen. Make the pen fairly big so that you don't have too many issues with the boar chasing you and maybe flatten the ground underneath just to make things a little bit easier too. They can be a bit troublesome. I don't think there's anything really to lure them. You can maybe chuck some food down and they might try and gobble it up a little bit quicker, but it doesn't seem like they home in on food the minute it's there. Simply, as soon as you've got one in, you can go ahead and pen the first one in. For the next one, just set up another small enclosure next to it. And in a minute, we're gonna make this a bit smaller, but let's get the second ball inside. With a bit of luck, it shouldn't take too long. As soon as it's inside, close it in, job done. Do remember, you do need to do this within the radius of your workbench, but you can set up multiple workbenches if you find a spot that's got lots of boars, if you have gone ahead and killed some. It took around, I would say, four days for some more boars to spawn back in my starting area the very first time, and then after that it seemed to be every two or three days I would see them come back. I've had to travel far and wide to get more of the scraps. You saw me dump some food inside the pen, that's pretty much how you feed them. You'll see a little heart go above their heads if they go ahead and start eating it. It's usually yellow coloured. This means it's working and the taming is happening. Now you've just got to leave them for a good amount of time, usually like a day, and try not aggro them. Try not running over too much or getting it so that they're attacking the fence. The fence should be okay, they don't often break through. During the whole live stream that I was doing this, they didn't manage to get in. The foods that you can use to tame them are mushrooms, berries, and carrots. Now carrots, you'll find carrot seeds in the black forest, and some of the mushrooms, often the red ones, you'll find in there too. The yellow ones you get inside some of the dungeons that you find in the black forest. It does look like to me they maybe prefer that type of food. One caution though, once you've tamed them, they I think can only be fed carrots. Also something to bear in mind, try and make the pen a little bit smaller if nothing's really going. If you go and take a look, there'll be a percentage bar on the boars. Just make sure they've got plenty of food on the ground that they can access and try and not do anything around them. Don't be jumping or attacking creatures, don't let any creatures get too close to them either. So far they're pretty happy with me, they have not raised up any fuss, but it does look like carrots are the ones that you're going to have to feed them, so you're going to need to unlock the cultivator tool. Now the cultivator tool I do believe you only get when you've gone and gone to the Bronze Age, so you're going to pretty much have to unlock yourself the smelter, get yourself copper and tin and make it some bronze. Maybe it'll take a bit longer, like I said it all depends on how much food you give them and how much they don't get frightened. But eventually they will actually start breeding and you've got baby piglets. They ended up producing two of these in the space of a day and a half. Check on their progress if they're okay by just simply petting on them, pressing the E button and if they're happy then you don't have to worry too much. If they're unhappy you need to find some food. In fact, you can make the boars so happy they absolutely love you. And this is this, this is when they're fully domesticated. Again, not completely variable, but it does look like they take around two days for the actual boars to grow up into full-size pigs. And then you can slowly lead them away and end their lives so that you've got more leather and meat. I wouldn't suggest you do that though until you get at least more than four. Four is a good number to keep here, but do remember you've got to keep feeding them and you are going to have to work out how to plant and grow your own carrots using that cultivator. That's something I haven't even done yet, so these pigs may not last long, but it's definitely enough to give me some extra scraps and I reckon I will get even more piglets out of this bunch. So fingers crossed I can go and get that cultivator made now. Until next time, Ratbags, I'll catch you for more Valheim action. Laters.